Well, as you can see, this is DDI, right? And um, and we see that it from uh, the so-called DDI terminal. I don't know if you use it or not, but it's uh, it you can run it from DRE, which is Deep Spark Recovery Environment, and and I'll show you it a bit more later. And uh, and uh, you can use that DDI terminal, and this is application that is called DDI terminal .exe. And if you have one DDI and you have network it on, then you can just run DDI terminal and it will find DDI in your network and connect to it. So it's a it's very uh, useful feature uh, for remote control, right? So you can then use Windows desktop or any other application to, to control it. <clears throat> so I have a drive uh, and we will uh, uh, do the first exercise, try to play with read sector timeout and, and block size to understand uh, what I just said. The first thing you do with any drive, you build a uh, head map, okay? So when you have a drive, you execute build heads map, and what it does, you select uh, which vendor of the drive you have, <clears throat> and what it does, it's, uh, it builds a heads map that refer every logical sector to physical head, so that the drive would know each sector what head it belongs to. Why it's important? Because obviously you can image by heads, you can select only one head or another head, and uh, uh, okay, we, 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 won't, we won't wait the entire time, I will stop it. <clears throat> and uh, after you build heads, now DDI has a knowledge what sector belongs to what head, so that you actually identify which heads are bad or what heads are weak, problematic, and which heads are good. The safer process would be to image good heads first. Okay? And how you do this? After you build heads map, you execute media test, and it will try to read, now you see head zero, but it's just because we stopped building heads. So it will try reading random sectors from head zero, head one, head two, head three, because this drive has four heads, and it will show you either all green or some yellow, or some red, and it will give you idea right away which head is bad. If, for instance, you would have had three bad, after media test, you see all the green, that green, that green, and this is has yellow or red, yellow or red. After that, if you see, if you identify bad head, then you go to imaging process configuration and uh, unselect the head that is bad. Okay, if it would be head three, I would unselect head three, press okay, and after that, when you start imaging, DDI will only be imaging selected, ha selected heads. Zero, one, and two, and we'll be skipping head three, which would be much safer process, right? Because in this case, the drive would live much longer. And then you can get back after all three heads are imaged, you can get back to head three, enable it, and start imaging again. And in this case, it will image only head three because all the previous, or head zero, one, two, three, all already imaged. And you know the DJI uh, reading every sector of the drive only once. If at least once that sector was read properly and copied from source to image drive, DJI will never read that sector after, after that. So you can restart imaging, start imaging from zero, and when I'm saying start imaging, I'm referring to uh, when you select either continue from last known state or you select uh, execute from LBA zero and fast primary parse, that would mean that it will start again and again, and you can just s s retry imaging the drive as many times as you want after modifying some parameters, like resector timeout, for instance, and that's the beauty of it, right? So, because you are just imaging whatever is imageable, and then you can uh, play with block size or resector timeout and start imaging again, start from 
LB0 fast primary pass, okay? And the drive again, and the DDIL game will do two or three passes, whatever number of passes you specify with different parameters, retrieving more and more data, right? So that's, that's, that's an idea behind safety and getting as much data as possible. You're getting all the green stuff and then retrying and then getting more and more and more, but, 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 but the drive at least still survive, right? Until you, while you are skipping all the, all the bad uh, <clears throat> areas. So let's, let's have a look at this drive. Uh, we just uh, start imaging and see by default configuration. So I, I haven't changed anything yet. And um, okay, where is the image? Okay, let's execute from LB0 fast primary pass. <clears throat> okay, so that's that's a normal behavior as 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 you know with DDI. So most of this uh, most of the sectors are green. Everything is fine, and just occasional yellow blocks, right? Everybody is familiar with with that behavior. So uh, once again, these yellow blocks, occasional, means that. There, there are bad sectors within that 120 sector block somewhere. We don't know where because there was a re-sector timeout that we specified and DDI was skipping that entire block, right? And it's it, it going for, uh, further. The first thing to mention uh, is that uh, there is a head three, as you can see here, right? There is a label that's showing current head that is being imaged. And as you can see, this is head three. And head three th has issues, right? So we have that yellow blocks coming, coming, coming. At any time during imaging, you may press either space bar, as you probably know, and try and the DJI will jump over a certain number of blocks that is specified configuration if you want. Or you can press tab. And tab will skip current head and jump to the next head, okay? So that's, that's a very uh, useful feature because uh, you can use top to identify problematic heads. You see now, again, uh, while I was, I, I was talking, uh, head three was actually finished and then DDI moved to head zero, one and two, and it was very fast because there were no yellow blocks during head zero, one, and two. Let's wait again. So you had three, and, and it is skipping, 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 skipping. Uh, okay, I will, I will just press top, and it will go to head zero. Okay, head zero, as you can see, head zero is fine. Head one is fine, no yellow blocks. Head two is fine. And head three, oops, again, problems. Okay, so we know now that the drive has a problem with head three. Yeah. Would you stop right now? Stop. Yeah, exactly. I would stop it now. Okay, and get back to that. Yeah, and unselect head three. Okay, so that's that's an idea. And then, okay, let's let's just try it. Okay, like I unselect head three, uh, press OK, and just continue. And so what we will have, and now we'll have head zero, head one, head two. And the head three was skipped, right? And again, head zero, head one, head two. So. That's, that's the thing. Now we are imaging good heads first. Uh, there is no stress on the drive whatsoever. We will definitely get at least good data from good heads first. And then after the image is complete, we can get back, right? Select head three again. And start execute from LB0 fast primary pass, press OK, and it will just restart from head zero, and now we, we got to head three, you see, automatically, because all the other heads were, uh, were already imaged. And now it will just go through head three. Okay. So this is how you manage all the time. If you want to image the entire drive, most important thing first, to identify which heads are good, which are bad. And in some cases, the problems are related to uh, media issue, okay, so you will see yellow block uh, all over all heads, which means it does, it's not related to heads. And for, in other cases, which is most common cases, uh, only specific heads will have issues, okay? So that's why a quite common process would be to disable bad heads first or weak heads, and then 
uh, go through good heads first. Oh no no it, it it was let's let's try again where it was <coughs> media test okay and uh, it just we, we we didn't finish so I see zero one two three and then all the had zero because we stopped building so the drive doesn't really know where each LBA but but here you see it's not identified why it's just occasional. Uh, sectors, only one single sector, is a media test will show you only really bad head. Only really bad, and then it will, it will be there. Yes, yes, exactly. So that's why you do media test first to identify really bad head, okay, and then you disable it. But, but if you see, like in this case, all the green, it doesn't necessarily mean all heads are good. And then you start imaging, but watch for heads. Okay, and then you will you will see right away. Okay, this is where I'm having issues. I I want to skip these issues at this point. Yeah.